sacrifice versus compromise. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I was gone for about a week, and I'm back here today to get back on track and, and hopefully give more insight that is hopefully a value that you could actually go out here and use in the world. Uh, for those of that don't know, that this is your first time hearing from me. Um, I lost my mom March 26, 2021. And so last week uh, was pretty much getting a lot of things together. Um, actually, her service is going to be this Wednesday. But last week was pretty much getting a lot of, uh, you know, things, programs. And, you know, you guys have probably been through this before. But getting a lot of things prepared so that Wednesday will go off successfully. So, um, so I ended up missing two particular uh, podcasts last week. But we're back, and we're back on track. And um, so anyway, so today I wanted to talk about this uh, sacrificing versus compromising because you hear it all the time where people go in relationships, you must be willing to sacrifice inside of that relationship. And I personally don't believe that. And the reason I'm talking about this particular topic uh, here today on Self Love Monday is because it holds true with yourself that we have to learn the difference between when we're making sacrifices, when we're doing things just because it makes other people happy. And it's not something we really truly want to do. And so we're actually sacrificing. And we have to be able to recognize when we're doing that because it's not something that's good for you, for you and your growth in this, in this journey we call life. Um, so let me explain the difference real quick and, and that'll, that'll make that conversation I just had more clear. And that's that for me, the reason I don't believe that you ever sacrifice in a relationship is because sacrifice, at least in my eyes, it's a win-lose scenario. One person wins, one person loses. That's why it's a sacrifice. The reason I think that's dangerous is because think about this. If you're the person that you're in a conversation with someone and you guys both share your perspectives, but when you walk away from the conversation, you feel like you lost and they won. Think of that. Think of what I just said. You lost and they won. How does that sit with you? Not very well, does it? And for most, if you can get past that first loss, you take it in, you go, okay, cool. But next time they owe me. That's kind of the thought. You may not say it, but it's kind of the thought process. So the next time we get in this, this conversation, this difference of opinions, where it becomes a possibility of a win-lose scenario, a sacrifice, think about it. You're not going to be willing to lose a second time because you feel like they owe you. Am I right? You feel like I lost the last time. I'm not losing again. So you're going to fight even harder to make sure you don't lose and if you do decide to give in, that's another check in the loss column. Now you're down 2-0. You got two losses. They owe you big. You guys see where I'm going? As those losses start to add up, that's why you hear the conversation in relationships when people will say, I'm the only one sacrificing in this relationship. They've been keeping scores. And I know people say, well, you're not supposed to keep score. Yeah, let's deal with reality. Maybe you're not supposed to. But we will as human beings. When you feel like you're sacrificing, which means you're giving up stuff, you are going to start to keep score. And ultimately, your relationship will pay for that. The, now, let's flip to this, the other side where I talk about compromise. Compromise doesn't mean you got your way. Compromise doesn't mean you got anything that you wanted. You guys follow that. Compromise didn't mean that you won, didn't mean that you got what you wanted out of the conversation. But what it does mean is you walked away feeling good about the conclusion of what took place. And that makes it a win for you. If you can walk away, even though you had the difference in opinions and you guys agreed to go another person's route, at least you walk away going, you know what? But I feel good about the decision, even though it's not necessarily the way I would have wanted to go. But I feel good about that. 
See, that's a win because I still feel good. That's a compromise. When we walk away from the conversation and we both feel that we won, and the only reason I went to that side where saying you may not have gotten anything because I wanted you to know that's worst case scenario. Worst case is you didn't get anything that you wanted out of the conversation except the fact of walking away knowing, but I still feel good about what we decided, what we agreed upon. So it's still a win-win. So we know in most cases in a compromise, you do get stuff out of it, but we work to where we both are lifted. And that's what the compromise is all about. It's about us getting to a point where we both feel lifted, we both are excited, we both feel good about the decision that we came up with, and we walk away. See, in that scenario, nobody's keeping score. Nobody is saying, whoo, that's a win for me. Most importantly, nobody is saying, click, click, that's a loss for me. And so that's why I, I started off by saying the same thing with you. And that's why we're having this conversation on Self Love Monday is because we have a tendency to do things where we feel like we're totally sacrificing. There's no benefit in it for me. Uh, why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm such a, and I know I get guilty of this sometimes. I do things just out of the goodness of my heart because I feel like <sighs> I don't want to let someone else down or just being what we call a good person or a nice person as people call it. And I'll do things. But you have to be able to change that if you are a person that sometimes you do things again, because life is not all about doing always what you want to do. You guys follow me? See, some people think, well, if I don't want to do it, I ain't doing it. Life is not about always what you want to do. Sometimes you do do things because it makes other people feel good and it's for their benefit. And it's not necessarily something you want to do. That's life. Folks. You want people to do that for you. If you you having a, a party or you have an event, maybe they don't feel like coming. But if everybody didn't feel like coming, your event is a flop. So there are going to be people there that don't necessarily want to be there, but because they care about you, that's why they're coming. Not for the party, not for the gathering, not for whatever it is that you're doing. They're going because they care about you. Welcome to the real world. There are times you're going to do things for people because you care about them. And it's not about you. The key in this particular conversation is that mentally, you don't look at that as a sacrifice. And you're able to take it for what it is. And that's that I'm doing it because I care about this particular individual or um, I know what it means to them and so that's why you do it but again because I know why I'm doing it I feel good about the decision on doing it and that's when it becomes again as we said before it's a compromise the compromise is maybe it's not necessarily what I wanted to do but I'm doing it because I actually care but if I make it to where I understand why I did it and I feel good then it's a compromise Versus, it is a sacrifice. Sacrificing starts to create resentment in your relationships. And that's why at every cost, you should try to avoid getting situations where it is a sacrificing and always try to figure out how can we compromise so that we both walk away feeling good about the decision that was made. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you, we, we talk on um, Relationship Thursday. I look forward to talking to you on Thursday. And for those on Self Love Monday, I'll see you back here uh, next week on Monday. Um, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Uh, that's where you can see everything that I got going on. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Take the time whenever you're in situations figure out how can we make this a win-win situation so that everyone enjoys this journey we call life. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.